Hey everybody, we're going to be continuing our series on gram-positive rods and today we're going to be talking about clostridium. So if you haven't seen part one of the gram-positive rods series, that was on anthrax, so make sure you go watch that video. So clostridium is going to be one of the two spore-forming bacteria that we're talking about amongst the gram-positive rods, the other being the uh, Bacillus anthracis. So there's four types of clostridium that we generally have to know for these exams. Botulinum, difficile, perfringens, and tetani. So again, clostridium is one of the spore-forming um, gram-positive bacteria that are rods. Yeah, here's the mnemonic. We've been through this slide already, um, so we'll just kind of move through this pretty quick. Okay, so there's four types, and just a note here, um, don't confuse the C in Clostridium for Carini bacterium. That can be easy to do on the exams, but uh, the Carini bacterium is going to be for diphtheria. Okay, so this is going to be an obligate anaerobe, which is kind of the opposite of what the bacillus was. Remember, the bacillus was aerobic. So um, normal flora in the GI tract, uh, but pathogenic elsewhere. So here's how we're, we're going to remember the obligate anaerobes. So we've got A, B, C here, and I've got two different ways here for you. Choose whichever one you like better. I, so you can choose they don't know the A, B, C's of breathing or can't breathe air, C, B, A, or A, B, C. So actinomyces, bacterioids, and clostridium. And then just as a refresher, the mnemonic for the um, aerobes is going to be nice pets must breathe. And we've got nocardia, pseudomona, aeruginosa, mycobacteria, and bacillus anthracis. Okay, we're going to start on botulism. So botulism is caused by C. botulinum. Uh, this is a, a point of distinction, which seems kind of petty to talk about, but you do see this topic come up and so you do have to understand the distinction here. So botulism is talked about as an intoxication not an infection and we will get into that um, in the next couple slides. This is just kind of a general overview of what we want to talk about. Uh, it comes from spores found in bad cans of food or honey. Uh, you can It can cause floppy baby syndrome in babies and then uh, Botox. So it's an inf intoxication, not an infection. And that is mainly because the actual bacteria has a tough time living inside, um, and it's the actual toxin that causes the disease. So C. botulinum cannot easily grow in the human body, um, and so the toxin is what causes the disease. So you ingest the spore or the toxin, and the toxin causes the disease. Uh, botulism does not require the presence of a live organism. And so we have toxic in here, and we can kind of use that to remember the botulism toxin. So now we'll talk a little bit about the botulism toxin. It's the most potent poison known to humans. It can severely damage nerves and muscle. Uh, it binds to presynaptic nerves and blocks the release of acetylcholine from CNS nerve cells. So that's the mode of action. It's going to block the release of acetylcholine, causing paralysis. So it causes flaccid paralysis of skeletal muscle, and that's the main symptom of this floppy baby syndrome. Uh, it can cause a loss of motor function, including respiratory failure, which can lead to death, and then uh, Botox. So we hear a lot about Botox injections. And the, the, and the Botox injection actually contains botulinum toxin. So those are the injections for cosmetics. So the most potent poison known to humans is what we're using in these Botox injections. So sometimes you'll see that come up. Moving on to the next bug, that's about all you need to know for uh, botulinum. Uh, moving on to difficile. So this is going to produce a cytotoxin, which is uh, an exotoxin. It kills enterocytes, causing pseudomembranous colitis. And this is the big thing that usually comes up on this bug, pseudomembranous colitis. 
And I put clindamycin, which is an antibiotic here, because frequently uh, I put here often secondary to antibiotic use, especially clindamycin.